Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing an age old mountain bike game called Can It Ride Up That? For this, you need a fully charged e-bike and a steep hill. Let's see how steep we can go. <laughs> no way, I can't believe I've got this far. Now that is a steep climb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. I should have bought a motocross bike. I'm not going to lie, that one was tough. <laughs> As we all know, one of the worst parts about mountain biking is having to push up steep hills. So, modern mountain biking's solution to this is the creation of the e bike. These give us the ability to quickly ride steep push-ups so that we can get back to descending. But how good are e-bikes at climbing and is there a limit to how steep they can go? To find out, let's play a game of can it ride up that? So the rules of this game are simple. We find some hills, each one being more difficult than the last, and see if we can ride up them. For this challenge, I'm back on the hammerhead from Shark e-bikes. It has a 250 watt Bafang motor and I'm keen to see what it can do. So as you can see, general climbs and trails on an e-bike like this are no problem. Of course, that's what they're designed for. But how steep can I go? Well, for that, I'm gonna need some hills, starting with this. So here we are, the site of the first challenge. Behind me is a lovely wet, grassy hill. This will be a great challenge just to see what the bike's got in it. I really hope it makes it up this one, otherwise it's gonna be a really short video you're watching. But first test, up the grassy slope, let's see how it does. Let's do it. Sticking the bike in maximum pedal assist, I was off like a rocket. I have plenty of power. Easy, no worries. As you can see, this hill was hardly a challenge for the bike. Okay, of course that was no problems. It made it up there easily. Let's move on to something a bit steeper. Okay, so the grassy ramp was fun, but it was a bit too easy. Of course, the e-bike made it up there with no problems. I'm out in the woods and I found a much harder trail. So this is a lot longer, it gets very steep at the top and it's generally a lot more technical. This should be a good challenge. Let's do it. This first part is pretty steep, but it should be nice and easy on the e-bike. Plenty of twigs and roots around, but here's where it gets steep, this end bit. Let's get the power on. Oh yes, oh yes, easy. That's right, the hammerhead mastered the climb without breaking a sweat. So the hammerhead handled that with no problems. I'm gonna have to go and find something a little bit harder. Okay, so I'm out in the woods and I've just come across this. Now that is a steep climb made of just this horrible pebbly stuff. I don't fancy my chances, but can it climb up that? Okay, let's find out. So this time I may have bitten off more than I can chew. Oh, this looks steep and really loose. That's right, the loose surface was causing problems. Back tire's slipping. But I'm still going. Can't believe it's doing it. <laughs> no way, I can't believe I've got this far. Can I get to the top? But then I made it to the steepest part of the trail. <laughs> oh, come on. Ooh. Man, that is loose. But I can't believe it. I've made it. Ooh. Now that was a tough climb, but it's a success. Nice. I'm not gonna lie, that one was tough. I slipped loads on all the stones down there and I didn't think I was gonna make it, but here we are at the top. Let's find another one. Whew. But harder than riding up the loose gravel is riding it back down. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's scarier riding down this. <laughs> After making it down safely, I'm ready for another challenge. <laughs> awesome. So here we are at Canuck Chase, and just to my right is one of the steepest climbs on the whole trail called Lungbuster. So I've got the e-bike ready to go. Let's see how it does. 
That's right, Lungbuster is a steep, loose and serious climb. Full of steep switchbacks, this is a challenging climb on a normal bike, so it'll be great to see how the hammerhead copes. It can handle loose terrain, but can it handle something so long and windy? I guess we're about to find out. Okay, lung buster climb. Let's go. So I set the pedal assist to maximum and got underway. How would the e-bike manage one of the hardest climbs yet? Well, so far this is absolutely easy breezy. Even with the rain hammering down, we've got wet rocks, loose track, no problems whatsoever. And of course, I'm not even out of breath because I'm still talking to you now, so no problem. That's right, the steep loose surface was an easy climb for the e-bike and it was managing well with all the tight switchbacks. But anyone who's ridden this trail knows that there's an awkward step at the top that catches everyone out. So let's try it. No worries. So that was way easier than I remember. Of course the e-bike handled that with no problems whatsoever. And of course now I get the fun of going downhill too. Catch you in a second. Up until now, it's clear that the Hammerhead can handle a variety of challenges and technical climbs. It's clearly a capable bike. But e-bikes are not invincible. There's definitely a limit to what they are capable of. And I'm determined to find that limit today. And I think I've found just the right spot to try. I don't know about an e-bike. I should have bought a motocross bike. This is going to be impossible. Okay, let's check how steep this thing is. Damn. Now that is a steep hill. So I'd better get to it. But I really don't fancy my chances. Can it ride up that? The answer is no. A solid no. Best two out of three? Denied. As I suspected, this hill is way too steep for any kind of mountain bike, electric or otherwise. But we gave it a good crack. So there you have it. The Hammerhead e-bike is a capable tool for climbing challenging trails. And of course, if you add different tires and make other improvements, you can increase the performance even more. So thanks for watching today's video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Well, so far this is absolutely easy.